Welcome to this drama life about Slenderman. Look, right there, through the trees. He's got no face, he's extremely thin and freakishly tall. He's all dressed in black and his arms are like tentacles, always about to catch you. You better run fast because Slenderman is coming for you. Though deep down you have nothing to worry about, because he doesn't exist. Slenderman was created on the 8th of June in 2009, for the online forum Something Awful. The user, Victor Serge, shared two black and white images, to which he added the dreadful figure that would later be called Slenderman. The first one shows a group of friends walking while Slenderman sneaks on them, and the caption said, We didn't want to go. We didn't mean to kill them, but his continuous silence and his outstretched arms were so horrifying and comforting at the same time. The second picture showed a park, with kids playing on the swings and Slenderman under a tree with tentacles of arms. It also quoted, taken on the same day as the fire in the library of Stirling City, where 14 children went missing. Victor Serge admitted he was inspired by the legend of the Shadow People, as well as H.P. Lovecraft, Zach Parsons and Stephen King. His intention was to create a being whose motivation was impossible to understand, so he would terrorize the whole population. The Slenderman myth kept growing thanks to the contribution of thousands of users until the inevitable happened. It went viral. Slenderman had become a phenomenon around the world, promoting new tales, photos, videos, and even web series. Are you ready to hear the scariest ones? Marble Hornets is the most famous series about Slenderman. It's a false documentary. Alex Crayley is a film student that disappears leaving his movie Marble Hornets unfinished. A friend of his gets the movie's raw tapes and through them he tries to find out what happened to Alex. On the first episode named Entry Number One, we can already see Slenderman on Alex's front porch. The fact that they made it look like a home video makes it look more realistic and the effect is terrifying. Throughout the rest of the series, Slenderman's presence is more intermittent, though the tension caused by something terrible that's about to happen is always there. Croatian Files is the first Spanish web series related to Slenderman. Two Erasmus students in Croatia find an abandoned hard drive and decide to create a YouTube channel to upload the videos they find in it. Most of the files were corrupted. Something was haunting the former owners. There are so many pictures of Slenderman online. Slenderman in the woods, Slenderman holding a little girl's hand, Slenderman at an orphanage, even Slenderman in Frozen. So many people are contributing to his story that his appearance, his terrifying mutilations or his abilities are always changing. It is said that Slenderman likes wandering in the woods because people usually take pictures there, and he likes to be in those pictures. He also has the ability to teleport, and can cause paranoia, nightmares, and even delirium in his victims. Strangely, they all go missing. To many experts, Slenderman is an example of how information is now being transmitted in old-fashioned ways, like the oral tradition, where stories were told and interpreted by many different narrators, forcing the natural evolution of the story. A mix between traditional folklore and Internet's open code. Did we go back to the time before printers? However, it's not all literature. Unfortunately, Slenderman's myth has inspired many crimes and violent attacks. The most notorious happened in Wisconsin on the 31st of May in 2014, when two 12-year-old girls held down and stabbed another classmate 19 times. When they asked them why, the girls said that Slenderman was watching them, and that if they didn't obey him, he would kill their families. Fortunately, the victim survived, but this horrible event made us all reflect on the use of internet by minors. Slenderman is still growing in the collective imagination of many users, and even if his stories are disturbing, We must not forget it is just a fictional character, a very terrifying one. Thank you for watching this Draw My Life about Slenderman. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Tell us in the comments section down below what you would like to see next time. Bye!